You think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end. And witness the death of Achilles' brother. Well, we know Achilles doesn't die, so... If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. Oh, penguins. Beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of this ice is rather thin. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. I doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. Come, let us enter their parlor. Oh, you're up there. Come on, even though you're an assassin. Is there a thing for uh, do not get detected? No. Okay. Halt! We need to have words! <laughs> oh, he killed the other guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Go on, Shaq. I will find another way. How am I going to do this? Alright, that was easy. Tell me what you see. Well, I don't know. Some buildings, some trees, some people. I see the beginnings of an empire. My you want to run this gang? Oh, I have to go over there. Oh, whatever.
shit. Okay, I'm going over there. Okay, just one. Oh, that was close. Ah, damn it. I hate this camera. There we go. There they are. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me. Says the man who shot me in the back at the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss him, don't. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh no, I don't want to kill him. I got scared. I thought I was gonna... Holy shit. 
I thought the other thing was gonna crush me. He said he was sorry. God damn it. Do I have to tell you, Liam? Oh my God! I make my own luck. Ugh. You do that, you bastard! You broke the assassins, betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies, and for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Hopefully that's the last time he says I make my own luck because it's becoming really, really annoying. What the hell? No! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. It's that true. Works. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but now he fucks up because now he trains Connor. Fuck you, Haytham. Ah! Jesus. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. Oh. But the world will. At least I, at least we know now why why he's like that in AC3. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. 
He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. Could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? Brotherhood broken. I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nabskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to healings. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. He sounds like somebody. He sounds like either Shay or Haytham. I don't know if it's the same voice actor, but he sounds really familiar. The hell is this? Yeah. Good. In the distant past, the assassins had a noble goal, that of peace. But over the centuries, that goal eroded into a far more dangerous one. Freedom. Shit. What's going on now? A minor setback. Okay. There! Just follow those lights and you'll be set. I promise, you won't die if you follow the bright lights. I haven't steered you wrong yet, have I? Follow the lights. I am. Please hurry, Numskull. It all comes down to this. Your communicator should work now. The Assassin Brotherhood still exists today. And they remain dedicated to their foolish cause. Freedom is foolish? I am a Templar Knight. I protect the world from the Assassins. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the service. Oh, I'm here. There we go. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Buster Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Don't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh. Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully... No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over. But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a 
plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us. Hmm. So that's why he sounds so familiar. All right, I gotcha. You have exceeded my every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. Are we going to see Juno again? in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. Nope, we're not gonna see Juno again. I am super impressed, Upskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Okay. And Isn't Cross the guy that um uh Desmond killed in AC three? There's still one last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. That's what I'm doing. Send in a message. The Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis the Sixteenth, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles. In that damned box. Oh. Okay, that's why he's here. That's him. Charles Dorian. Okay, I'm I'm starting to uh connect the dots on how this connects to unity. How the hell am I gonna get up there? Oh.
temps y a-t-il dans Britannique Oh. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Well, I know who Arno is and I know who Elise is, so yeah, I see the connection. Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? My son, Arno? Perhaps you have seen him? Have you seen a little boy around? I'm looking for my son. Can I kill him? Undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. <laughs> Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shay Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. Eh. So, final thoughts. The game was fun in some parts, but really boring in some other parts. Like, it was so boring. Shay was so boring, and he got so annoying with this whole, uh, um, I already forgot. Like when he says it is annoying and then I forget what he says. Uh, I make my own luck. There it is. But seriously, none of this matters until the last mission. What we just saw was the only thing that matters. And it's really short for a PS3 game. So I was really mad yesterday. So today I'm more calm. So I'm not going to rant. But 
I did not like this game at all, but I liked the last five it's minutes. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold. And your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse. Yeah, I didn't have a choice, so. Also, they're really lazy, because they used the same theme from AC2 into a game that doesn't even feature Ezio. It was really annoying in Odyssey, too. You can't be using that theme for every single Assassin's Creed game when that's an Ezio theme. That's freaking annoying. And also, none of that matters because we're never gonna see this character again, probably. That's why I don't like it when it's a uh, first person because you don't get attached. But Desmond, when he died, I was like, oh shit. First person, I don't give a fuck. Oh well. Six out of ten. Whatever. I'm gonna continue playing it to see if I can 100% the, uh, the trophies, but. I am never playing this game again for the story. Shay was boring. The only interesting parts were Achilles, Adewale, and at the end with Arno. And I hate them. And that was it. Shay was horrible. Gameplay was gameplay was the same as AC4. So it doesn't really matter what I say. I liked it in AC4. I don't like that they Repeated it here. Story was blah. Shay was boring. I am interested in Unity now because of the ending. And that's it. I want to play Unity now and hopefully... It's been six years since Unity came out. So hopefully there's no bugs. Hopefully they uh, fix that. But yeah, this game sucks. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in Unity. Oh, one last thing. Templar then, Templar now, fuck off. Um, one last thing, I didn't like how Adewale died in this game. I don't like that Adewale died at all in this game. It was, he needed his own game with his own ending. Even if it's the same ending, I wanted Adewale to have his own game. But nah, he had to die in a meaningless game that probably nobody played because they saw the reviews and were like, fuck that. Adewale deserved a better ending than that shit. All right, I'm adding this at the end because I didn't like how I was gonna end the video with me being salty and angry. So I'm just gonna add a few more stuff uh, that I wrote. Uh, one more negative or yeah one more negative and a few more positives that uh, that I found because I finished the game 100% so the negatives is still out of wallet like I don't like I didn't like how uh, out of wallet's story ended and yeah I think there was a missed opportunity and another missed opportunity was hate them and out of wallet never interacting I feel like there's so much connection there that it feels like they should have done that. Um, but they didn't. So to me, it's just a, a missed opportunity, a big, big missed opportunity. And those are the only negatives. Uh, 
positives, the gameplay, even though it's is a basic Assassin's Creed gameplay, but it's still fun. Um, the side missions were pretty fun too. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail because I don't remember. I'm recording this like seven months after, so I don't remember the side the side missions. Um, one that I do remember, which was a, a wasn't really a side mission. It was a I guess it was a side mission. The assassination contracts which is the reverse of what the assassins do in the other Assassin's Creed games, which is uh, Shay uh, grabbing a pigeon, reading the name, and then protecting that person from the assassins. That was really fun. Um, and yeah, that was one of my favorites. And another thing that I liked was the, uh, was the assassins being everywhere because that gave me anxiety, especially when my health was low and the screen started flashing and, and then you realize, oh crap, there's an assassin, assassin nearby. Uh, one, one, one misclick and you're dead. So I like that one. And the ship battles, because the ship was different from the, from AC4. Um, but at the same time, I don't know, because I never upgraded the ship in AC4 100%. But I did in this game. And the more cannons, and everything like that being the uh, Templar ship was fun. I mean using a Templar ship was fun because it, it it was doing more but at the same time I don't know because I never upgraded the AC4 ship so I don't know if it would have been the same thing. So yeah after finishing the game 100% and given I think I gave the this game a six and a six six and a half out of ten uh, after finishing the game 100% I'm gonna have to give it like a seven and a half because the game is fun. It's just the story feels rushed. Shay was kind of annoying at times because it felt like they didn't know what to do. So they gave him they gave him one stupid catchphrase that instead of saving it for important moments, he says it almost every five minutes. But at the same time, I just did the story. And I, ne I never broke it up into side missions. So doing this, the, just the main story 100% and just doing that, it feels like he says it more than five, every five minutes, and it was annoying. But everything else was fun, and that's all I can ask for when the story is meh. Um, it's still my least favorite Assassin's Creed game, and I probably won't play it again. Unless there's, well, they're not going to do a sequel to this game because it doesn't make any sense. The sequel is Unity. And, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, for the future, uh, Unity, I played two hours of the game I think uh, and then I figure something out and then then play it again but unity is coming I just don't know when it's coming because playing back-to-back -back Assassin's Creed games kind of burned me out so unity is coming I just don't know when I might upload the first two hours and then pause the, the playthrough until I start playing it again um, but I'm playing Ratchet and Clank for the PS4 on the PS5. That's coming. Uh, Miles Morales is coming too. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. Well, I'm gonna try to play both games before Rift Apart comes out in June. So be on the lookout for those two. And maybe because I, I'm buying a new microphone, so you know, if it, to see if that sounds different. But it's. It took me seven months to get more comfortable and I'm still not 100% comfortable with recording again. So it is, that's just anxiety for me because I haven't done it in so long. And you know, yeah, that's all I have to say. I don't know what I was gonna say there. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and see you in the next playthrough that I do.